Hey everyone, in Elementor we have the PayPal and the Stripe buttons, but did you know you can build a PayPal subscription button in your PayPal and add that to your Elementor website? Why would you do that? Maybe you're selling membership or courses or access to your website. Well, by them using a a very simple button that you create in PayPal, you can now have subscription without having to use any other plugin. I like to use Paid Membership Pro. It's free if you wanna do uh, subscription services, but you can do it using your PayPal app or your desktop version. Now, when you're in PayPal, go to Pay and Get Paid. It's one of your options here. And you'll then see the option for subscriptions. Let's click that. You then create your subscription product. So let's click Get Started. Let's give it a title. So I'm gonna call it uh, members, okay, something like that. I'm gonna call this members area. You could probably put a bigger description. Now it might be a good idea to give this an ID. So I'm gonna go A123, give it something that it does make much sense to you. Uh, it's gonna be a digital good or a service. In fact, now we'll change it to services. I'm just gonna put consulting services. And if you had an image, you could also stick that in here. Obviously, you know, go with what works for you. Right, let's just hit next now. You get asked to pick the subscription product that you're gonna offer. Well, we've just created it. So let's just click that and click next again. Now this has changed from what it used to be before. Before you just kind of like put in a few items and away you went. This is now a little bit more sophisticated. Is it fixed price? Is it quantity pricing volume tiered? I'm actually gonna go for just a fixed price. I'm gonna go to next, uh, subscription uh, like that. Let's click next. And now we get to decide our price. Is there gonna be a trial period? So you might say, hey, join, you get seven days free. Uh, yeah, zero price for seven days and there's only one cycle, right? So after seven days, this ends and there will be a, will there be a setup fee? This is quite interesting in that maybe you're offering a service where you say, right, right at the start, you gotta pay like an extra bit amount, amount of money for, I don't know, introductions or something like that. That's entirely up to you. I'm not gonna do a one-time setup fee, but it, here's the interesting bit. Unlimited billing cycle or limited. So maybe you say that you're only gonna get charged for the first three months and after that you don't get charged anymore or is it unlimited? So I'm just gonna put in a cost of say 99 pounds and this is gonna be every month. If you were to go for limited, you now put your cycle. So if you had limited, it would only charge you for one month. After month one, it won't do it again, unless I change this to be a two or 24 or 48 or whatever. I'm gonna leave this as unlimited. There'll be no tax applied. How many missed billing cycles before subscription is paused? Well, we'll say if you miss one, that is it. Turn on auto billing of outstanding payments. I think that's a good thing to do as well. Let's hit next. So that is, now created. Okay, so we are now gonna say, uh, turn the plan on. So it's creating our subscription plan. Really, really simple this at the moment, isn't it? Uh, we can now have, uh, but basically you would wanna make sure that you leave this as it is, API credentials, leave that as it is. Decide how you're gonna do your layout. You know, are you gonna have it like this or underneath it? Is it a pill, is it a rectangle? So you get some lovely little features with the colors as well or what you wanna go for. I'm now gonna hit copy code. That has now given us the code. So if I now go to say one of my test pages over here, in fact, we'll go to this page here, and I'm going to now add in a HTML like this, and I'm just gonna stick it in underneath here. Now don't worry if it doesn't display straight away. That is sometimes just the way Elementor and things are, but when you view this in preview, Look, I have the functionality. You could resize this, you know, accordingly. So if I was to stick this and make this size be a smaller width or whatever I wanted to do, it's gonna resize it, okay? So this is just a bit of HTML and you can go away and do a bit more funky stuff to it or a bit more CSS styling. But look, we now have this. So I could go, right, let's hit subscribe. And it's gonna take me over to probably log in if I've got a PayPal account. Okay, obviously this isn't gonna work because it's my own account, you can't pay yourself. Or you could click here and start to pay with a direct or a credit card or anything like that as well. So this is like a really, really good way of adding a PayPal subscription service to your website, literally just using PayPal. And so if you've got a PayPal account, business or personal or whatever, you can now set up a subscription service and they have improved this massively uh, in the last few months in the interface and how it works. So go and do it and add it to your Elementor page. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you. Never break.
Always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.